Tom Bacon with Steering Wheel Nation in collaboration with the Cart Lounge. We are providing coverage of today's CK and a Spring Nationals. And Mick Gabriel has joined us for an interview. Mick, pole winner today, P3 and medium. Talk a little bit about how your weekend's going so far. Not bad. Yesterday we struggled a little bit trying to find the balance. And we hit on some things this morning, changed my driving a little bit. It kind of adapted with changing conditions. and. Now we're sitting where we want to be for the heat races, and um, we're going to see how the rest of the day goes and try to play the game and stay up front for the finals. Talk a little bit about what it's like to come here to a place like Charlotte Motor Speedway and race a go-kart. Do you feel like it's a bigger event because it's at a NASCAR track? Yeah, I do. I feel like it gives me the same aura as going to Daytona because it's, you want to do good here because it's a big stage and there's a lot of people watching, so it's definitely some added pressure, but, you know, the cream always rises to the top, and we work pretty hard at what we do, and we're going to try to be there in the end. So. For those who don't know a lot about this type of karting, talk a little bit about these go-karts, about the motors. Talk about uh, your business, too, AM Karting. So these are LO206 engines. They make about 10 11 horsepower. Um, they're basically the most popular engine in go-karting right now. It's just mainstream. Everybody's got them. And it creates the best racing, honestly, you know, more so than other things. And it's it's the hottest thing right now. So we're kind of jumping on it. Everybody else is too. There's 50 go karts in both senior classes. The competition's the best you could possibly find in the country. So yeah, in our business AEM karting, we have a full service race team. We're OTK distributors and dealers, engine builders too. So we're basically your full nonstop kart shop in Chicago. But we travel all around the country, race CKNA, WKA. Um, some select scooter races, stars, and some regional stuff in the Midwest too. What was the genesis behind starting the business? So I worked as a driver coach for a while up north at a race shop and Chris, who's in the background here, caught a liking to me and I actually coached him. He started us kind of financially start this whole deal and kind of gave the reins to my dad and I to run the race team and we've been just doing it for a year so far and you know we got 12 guys under the tent this weekend it's going pretty good. So. What's it like to be in charge of the business and also be a driver for the business? I'm not really in charge. I, I play some roles, but I'm not in charge as most people think. I do um, I do mainly a lot of the coaching, um, business development, getting customers. Luckily, we've been doing so well the past year that customers are reaching out to us instead of the game where I reach out to them. So the business is coming, coming along good, and I'm just kind of riding the wave with it and letting it roll. So And doing well on the racetrack definitely helps too and creates more of a business. How do people get a hold of you and how do they reach out to you in terms of the business? Talk about where they can find you guys. So we're all over Facebook. We're actively on Facebook a lot, AEM Karting. Um, we're also on Instagram too. We don't really mess with Twitter too much, but you can find us on Google. We pop right up our phone number, email, everything. Info at AEMKarting.com. You can email me at Mick at AEMKarting.com and we can hook you up with a program, you know, four cycle, two cycle. We mainly specialize in the four cycle stuff, but you know, we can hook up whatever you need. That's Mick Gabriel, and Mick is our sponsor for this weekend's coverage. So go check it out, aemcarding.com.